unhappiness or happiness and avoiding unhappiness so for that what you have to do you have to move our vehicle what is the vehicle body body, body mind, mind, mind and intellect this is the vehicle right so this experience this this is actually what you call as our body mind intellect is the vehicle and who is steering this is called attention okay and who is watching this and who is knowing this this guy is called sakshi the i real i okay and who is inside this here is there somebody inside is this clear now so the body mind and intellect is we are constantly steering towards experience right experience i don't want have unhappiness i want happiness are you clear now the question come the attention is the steering wheel if my attention goes there i'll get something if attention comes here i'll get something you are come your attention has come here because you want to get some spiritual experience right attention is the steering wheel now the question is who is driving this attention this sakshi doesn't do anything the pure eye doesn't do anything right does it do anything So Robin, who is driving this vehicle? <laughs> That's the point. Automatically it is moving. Robin, who is driving? Just the reflection of it. <laughs> reflection of it doesn't drive. It is just giving reflection. <laughs> Okay. It's an impression that it is driving. <laughs> so the guy who is driving this is here. I'll just show you. So there is a subject and an object, right? The subject is what you call as body, mind, intellect, which has what? How many parts? How, how many are there in that? Three. Society child, divine, divine child, child, and human child. Divine. Correct. Now the society child is seeing the object continuously, the world. Okay, and seeing the world, it is learning something continuously. The learning is stored here in the form of images, sounds, feelings, smells, and taste, and uh, language. Okay, that means you are getting programmed by the what you are seeing. You means what? Body, mind, intellect. Are you getting what I'm saying? See, when you are a child, as a born as child, do you know who are you? No. Okay, what's your name? <laughs> Pure consciousness. Ah. Okay. So the moment you are given a name, a memory structure is created here in the memory map. So there is a guy called so and so is there. Now this memory map starts building, memory, <laughs> creating as if there is one person there. Suppose you don't know the language, okay? So I mean I'm I'm saying you do not have the ability to understand language, then that center cannot be created. A fish is there; it has no ears. So you have a pet fish in your house. So for your pet fish, you give a God's name, Rama, Parappa, Rama, Hogappa. <laughs> so the pet fish use a 
Rama ba 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 baro Rama Jai Rama Jai Rama Shri Rama 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 atau ba 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 kum kum kum. Ah fishing itu kau tak ada. Aduh, hati anda berat atau kau tak? But the same thing you do to human child. Rama Rama Rama. Next ten days he start thinking I am the Rama. So that is actually you are creating a memory program there called by words. Linguistic map, Shravan. Okay? <laughs> you understand? Now, this guy, what is his input sense organs? The five sense organs, circle sense organs there. Touch, smell, taste. Okay? Then uh, it is recorded as images. Okay? So, this guy who is created, just born and created as Rama, he start leaving this. <laughs> Okay, and who is searching this enlightenment? This memory program called Rama is searching for the enlightenment. Really, can everyone get it? <laughs> Are you able to understand? Sri Ram. Answer clear and huh? So, what is happening is this is actually a storage system and a pro program execution system. Program execution is required for survival in the life. Okay. So now this guy is uh, <laughs> programmed very nicely by the society. This whole thing is running the program. So there is input coming from the world, is stored. Then you will respond to the input. And you will, uh, by trial and error, you will learn what is the best response to the world. If I see this some person, I have to smile. Otherwise that person will feel angry. So I let us learn smile one day. <laughs> smile. <laughs> And this boy he is never satisfied. This guy is in becoming mode. He wants to become something. Become what? To conform to the society. To conform to the environment. And then also he is finding, trying to find a peace. This guy is in search of enlightenment. So Buddha told this guy about this guy that Anatta. He doesn't exist. <laughs> what is the intellect in this? Intellect is the decision maker, no? Intellect is this part of the mind. The mind. Okay, the self, obje objective head is the intellect. So, body-mind intellect is a vehicle itself. Is a vehicle itself. So, in a way, we said body-mind intellect is a vehicle hmm. and it seems to drive. Yeah. But the real intellect is not that intellect. No, that's intelligence. Intelligence. Intelligence, which is so Atma. Intellect is, what Intel is the relation between intellect and intelligence? Intelligence powers intellect. intellect. <laughs> That's all. Reflection <laughs> of the intellect. <laughs> intelligence powers intellect. Okay, intelligence is not affected by anything. Intellect is severely affected. The boss says, "What the hell are you doing?" Your intellect is affected. <laughs> intelligence, nothing is affected. <laughs> okay. That's no, intel intellect. Mind is intellect. Mind is intellect. Intellect and mind are one. No? Intellect is driving the mind. Right. Intelligence is powering this. Intelligence is. Consciousness, which is powering. Intellect becomes, intellect get, bl intellect glows. The vehicle is getting powered. So it will start acting, right decisions. Thoughts are coming from intellect only? Thoughts are mind, actually, as a product of mind. Images, feelings, thoughts, emotions. It's a intellect. Mind has four components. Manas, buddhi, ahankar, chitta. So a product of this is called thought. Thoughts are coming from the memory program. Memory. And memory program is the driver. No, no, memory program is... See, what? how is my attention decided? By the intellect. Yeah, but intellect is again taking the inputs from the memory program. Memory. memory. And memory is taking the input from senses. Senses are input, taking input from society. society. <laughs> so to impress the society, to impress the society, I keep on driving the vehicle towards... Who is that I? The memory program. It's the society child. <laughs> society child is trying to survive in the society. And society child wants to get enlightened, which can't be. This, the divine child is already enlightened. <laughs> Do you understand the paradox of enlightenment? Then what about awareness? Sir? Awareness is the, the awareness is this one, no? This is the awareness. It is unaffected. Awareness is always there. <coughs> no, being aware is not choice of the mind. No, no, no. Being aware when you choose the mind, being aware means pay attention. It means. Okay, so now what has happened is the attention is lost, right? 
attention is lost when you are working attention has gone to office when you are in office attention has gone to office. then i am saying be aware bring the attention to the present moment why it is present moment will tell you okay now the mind is going heavy first the mind collect the mind then understand that i am the witness of the mind i am the sakshi so first bring the mind to the present moment then bring the aware of the presence which is i am from presence you go to the consciousness i realize what uma are you understanding what did you understand tell language me huh language missing, huh? language missing. <laughs> so this See, go presence and awareness is the same thing no no presence is reflection of the awareness in the body mind complex okay presence also is absence is there no the, pre the presence is there the absence is there but awareness is not in the present nor absent it's always there Because of the presence of the consciousness, I amness. I amness because of I, which is consciousness, uh, pure awareness. It arises because of I. Ah, in the body. No, but witness arises because of the consciousness. No, no, the witness is that presence, which is I amness, is the reflection of I, which is pure, pure, which is the witness. So the that's you. I is the universal witness. But the witness I feel in me. That is, I am. the i am is supposed to be the pure reflection but the i am associated with the body mind complex i am is actually real i reflection of i it should be like i only which is witness but it doesn't get witness it says it starts feeling suffering suffering pain and all because of the it starts thinking that i am associated with the body mind intellect that's getting that is that's actually it's spoiling the intellect it's close the associated intellect now intellect is responding to oh i am the body i am the mind so this also is like going through that but when i am witnessing my thoughts say hmm. that that witnessing also coming out because of this power in the i am in you instead of associating the body and mind it is associating the i that is why it is able to witness so now who is driving who is actually seeking enlightenment who is driving so society society child is seeking <laughs> everything <laughs> the divine child is the witness but it is feeling as if i am going to trouble because of the society child influence the divine child has to remember that i am pure i so basically it is just clearing that wall between the society child and the divine child that's why shankaracharya said only for atma gnana or mukti is discrimination nothing else atma anatma viveka what is atma what is not what is self and non self you try to discriminate clearly okay and nitya anitya nitya means what is changing what is unchanging discriminate okay then you come to the clear conclusion who am i and remaining this you accept it it comes it comes there is a problem in that acceptance <laughs> There's a problem in the acceptance because you start taking yourself as the changing guy. So there has to be that I am the unchanging guy has to be deprogrammed. Yeah. For whom? <laughs> For the I am part of the changing guy. For the divine child. Now the divine child is moment to moment getting confused by the society child. Awareness is that awareness has gone to subtle state, subtle the ego. Something is powering the body, right? That's conscious. The awareness, no? the awareness, awareness is powering the body. Okay, the society child ego has gone to seed state, state which is the mind. But awareness is very powering. No, no. The see sunlight when sunlight when it falls on water, reflection is there. That reflection is has the properties of sun. as long as the body mind complex is there reflection has the ability of powering sunlight sunlight sunshine is falling on the water it has the quality of brightness okay it has the quality of uh, uh, heat not as much as sun but it is the ability right 
if the water is not there there is no reflection but the water is there the body mind body body complex is there reflection is happening awareness is falling on body mind intellect and the reflection is powering the body okay any questions so now let us understand this who is no nobody is uh, nobody is uh, seeking nobody is uh, right let us see i am <clears throat> there's a banana here now this experience banana is very nice i am eating banana it's very nice right so there is a banana there is i and there is eating there are three this is called triputi banana is there i am there and eating is there there are three triputi called it's called triputi right so that means three separate things are there are there three separate things no <laughs> what is there banana and me are connected by eating if i am not eating there is no there's no connection between me and banana of course seeing is another thing seeing is also seeing is a connection but assume that eating i am taking as a explanation banana and me are connected to eating so there is there a banana separate from eating me eating is happening because banana is there so you cannot separate out banana and me and eating separately so i will say banana and me are not there only eating is there okay so after eating when eating is there eating is going on after the eating says i ate the banana now my attention has gone to memory this is banana is very nice i am fully experiencing experience the banana let's say you go to a drama fully experience the drama you don't even say how much time has passed then you realize oh it's two hours have gone through so then your attention has shifted from the experience to the experiencer yes, <laughs> now the experiencer is created now that i has come experiencer has appeared now so then the experiencer comes in the qualification see i was watching uh, i mean i am watching a movie beautiful movie uh, beautiful uh, drama or rather a carnatic music performance i am so engaged in that while engaged in that i, I there's no experience and experience there's only experience is there so the carnatic performance is over then immediately i want to tell my neighbor see how good nice is the performance how beautiful is that you see i he, he, for him no importance i studied carnatic music only for 20 years see i have so much of expertise this raga this tar this tar now he has brought all his memory to create a experience where was the experience when the experience was going on there was no experience sir but it has grasped there's not grasped you are you you have forgotten that you are there yes. you have become one with the experience only experiencing is there there's no experience sir experience or affect after experience this is a typical telugu and kannada movie style in olden days olden days the hero the hero will come and bash all the villains then finally policeman will come and stand for a group photo there's something but why the experiencing experiencer is not there why it is coming there that you have to tell me natural become the part of the no no we'll find out we'll find out we'll find out right we'll find out that that experience will cut in cut into pieces now <laughs> so experiencer happened after the experience got it while experiencing only experiencing was there right is there experiencing over there while experiencing <laughs> is there experiencing there while experiencing nothing there's only knowing is there if there's no knowing there's no experiencing knowing of the experience is there the experience is not there also knowing is there right so knowing was always there 
and the experience happened and disappeared. Experiencing happened and disappeared. Experiencer came after the experience. Right? What is the experiencer made up of? No, 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 no. What is the experiencer? Huh? Experiencing and knowing are one and the same. No, no. Experiencing comes and goes. The knowing doesn't come and go. Knowing knows that there is no experiencing. Okay, experiencing is happening. Experiencing disappeared. So you, you say, oh, I am not able to think. Who knows I am not able to think is the no knower. Knowing. Right? Experiencing happened and experiencer came later. Are you understanding? Yeah. Now who is this experiencer according to you in this music class, according to music, music performance? Somebody has studied Karnataka music for 30 years, 20 years. Somebody is very exper expert, is expert in all Raga Thala. So that means the memory of 20 years is the experiencer. Now who are you? Are you the memory? Now one more record is created. I was the Karnataka experience based on the memory you created. I added one more record to the memory. Are you clear? Okay. Now this experience wants one more performance because he wants to feel happy. He goes for one more Karnataka music. And one more. So who is seeking happiness? The program in your head is seeking happiness. <laughs> experiencer is causing the attention to move. Who is the experiencer? Mm -hmm. Is the memory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let us see whether memory is you really. Okay. Let us understand, right? Memory is you. Are you getting this going overhead or what? <laughs> huh? You are coming first time, no? Okay. So you have taken all of you taken the photograph, right? Photos. Group photo. Your friends are standing in group photo. Smile and you will take a photo. In any photo, does the photographer come into picture? No. no. Memory is a photo. In all of your memory, there is no photograph of you at all. Because you only taken the photograph of the experience in the world. <laughs> Not a single memory record of yours contains the photographer. Who is the photographer? The Sakshi. The consciousness, the consciousness I am, the Sakshi, will never appear in the photograph. Photograph can only see the what are the objects. It says the body, mind and the world. Rear photograph is the consciousness. None of your photograph has the consciousness as the record. Now just do one exercise, okay? Close your eyes and think of your very, very closest friend where with whom, I mean, when, when you say closest friend, sometimes you have fought. If you have not fought with a friend, he is not a friend. <laughs> so, closest friend. Okay, now open your eyes. Describe the closest friend. She's annoying sometimes. She's annoying sometimes. Okay. She is good. How? What is her height? Height. Taller than me. Taller than you. And what she has studied? Studied with me. Studied with me. Second PUC. So other than the real person, you have described everything. <laughs> you are getting what I am saying. She has described her education, the body, okay, behavior. The real person, real friend is the consciousness. Nowhere the consciousness is mentioned. If the consciousness is removed of your friend, is the friend alive? No. Hmm? How do we describe the consciousness? Okay, what is the difference between alive and dead body? Living functions going on in the body. Yeah. And dead body? There are no functions. So, who is the person then? Is the body the person or the living function is the person? Huh? <laughs> so if you both, 
then the body which is dead should be worshipped in the house. No, you have to do puja for that. Because the person is there. Is it both? The body and the functions. Both. No, that is actually for functioning. Who is the person? Okay. The functions. The, the, the living function. Living, yeah. That is the consciousness. So in her whole of description, you are not so told about consciousness and living life in itself. You are told about the body, how the functioning, it's a behavior. So in a whole of your photos of life, you are not there in the picture at all. Because you are the one who is taking the picture, the consciousness. Then, you put the picture in here, Okay, you put the picture in here and that picture thinks I am that, I am you and starts behaving itself. <laughs> so your program is created now. Can you explain this? Huh? You See here, here, this is actually images, sounds and feelings and smells are the pictures. Yeah. Right? So you say, I had a wonderful experience in the beach. Mm -hmm. I had a wonderful experience in the beach and you record it in memory. What you recorded? I. Means the body. Okay, the beach you recorded, huh? and you created, a, you put a stored an image, which is nothing but a photograph. Okay, where is that I in that photograph? My body, my my body is there in the memory. My body, I don't know. A body is there. <laughs> my body also, I am doubtful. <laughs> The body is recorded as me and that you have given your power of autonomy to operate on your behalf. <laughs> Am I understanding? Yes or no? Understood? See, the real I is always Sakshi, watching. It is not involved. All memories we start thinking as me, are recorded as me. And that has become a program which is running for the body mind complex. Understood? Like you told the friend is the conscious consciousness. So that if that awareness is there, then everything is conscious. Then you will not cry if the friend is there or not there. The consciousness is only the vehicle, the body and mind is the intellect is the vehicle. See, somebody is talking to me over the mobile phone. Child, mother is talking to the mobile phone. The child asks, whom are you talking? I am talking to my friend, the mother will say. The child thinks that the mother from mobile phone is the friend. Huh? So, always the child will say, your friend, your friend. But your friend is not this, your friend is somewhere, it's not seen. The consciousness is not seen, the body mind is seen, the body mind is a vehicle, mobile phone. Why are you confusing with the consciousness? No, no, if we know that the friend is only consciousness, then first we will know I am consciousness. No, that was my point. Ah, that's what I'm saying. Both are, I mean, you are, because you don't know your consciousness, you are thinking the friend is also? Body. body. <laughs> so now, if body, mind are this thing, then what will happen? Any, any, anything, of, anything happens to the friend, will you be disturbed? Should not be. Should not be or cannot be? Mobile phone is destroyed, anything happens to me? No. The body, mind, intellect gets destroyed, but nothing happens to consciousness. But we start crying, oh, that person has died. Nobody can die. Understand? Hmm? So, who is running your life, my dear? Society. <laughs> Society child is running the so called life vehicle. It has taken the full control of your whole life. <laughs> And that guy wants a happiness and enlightenment also. <laughs> it's just a memory structure, that's all. So the person called the person called Gayatri in the bio data, the events the incidents, everything happened in the life is a memory program. So there is no individual there. <laughs> For real Gayatri, nothing has happened. Who is the real Gayatri? I. 
the pure consciousness is absolute reality. Then this unchanging I is just a memory we can say. Unchanging eyes. No, unchanging is not a memory. Changing eyes. Changing eyes. Changing eyes. Changing eyes. Changing eyes. So the changing eyes claiming to be an individual, a person. So Ruchi, it's with the jnana the memory gets erased. The clarity of what? See, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what is that. What is the effect of jnana? I'll tell you. Okay? Before that, I just want to show you who you are. Nobody can show. No guru has been able to show who you are. Okay? I am showing you. <laughs> Everybody will say, Guru cannot show you who you are. I am going to show you who you are. <laughs> really. <laughs> huh? Right? I am trying to find out right photograph for you. Physical pain or a disease in body is not part of a memory structure. It is. It is recorded, no? Now, hmm? if now if I have a pain, mm -hmm. if I, I I get an injury, if I'm mm -hmm. bleeding, mm -hmm. so how can I say that uh, this is part of a memory program? No, this is currently That's happening. Uh, that we'll find out now. That's why I'm I'm trying to take up what is experience and what is memory. Right now, you understand what's who is who is searching for all this freedom. find out who is created the experience. <laughs> okay. So I'll show you a real real you, okay? You'll not find any spiritual books. This society child operating this body mind complex is called real you, which is a program. The real you is none of this. Real you cannot be seen. The real you is here. The real you only is felt as uh, witness. The real you is a witness. It's not the witness which is felt in me, no? because that is the, again the reflection uh -huh. from my witness. What? The real me is never felt, right? Only the uh -huh. witness is felt, uh -huh. that is again the reflection, right? That's right, you are getting closer, closer. <laughs> Some sense is coming. <laughs> so, this is real you, which is here. And this is what you call as me. This is actually your me. You can never know yourself. Just the witness is just, uh, I can guess there is somebody here. That is, for, who, is who, who will guess that? That is the robot. My boss is witness. So, the real you is I. This me is the changing eye. Changing eye. This me is me is constant me is uh, me is programmed very powerfully for searching happiness, for working in the world, and earning money, and getting happiness in many things. So the real eye has no actual 
at all. <laughs> so spirituality means not this real, this me becomes I. Me cannot become I. Okay, me has to find the source of I am me, which is I. <laughs> is it clear? Huh? That's why it is always in trouble. Huh. No, it is not trouble, it is actually a program. So, trouble means you learn something and do something else. So, you understand who you are, who are you? Uma? This is a program, it is a machine. For I, nothing has happened. This is actually part of becoming. This is actually what you call as becoming. And this is called being. Be, being. So this is, when you say human being, you are referring to what? So this is actually human part. Which is actually what you call as human. And this is called being. Nothing has happened to the being. Human is always constantly changing. So now what are you? Who is looking for Mukti? Human. <laughs> Human is looking for Mukti. Yeah. It's as a part of program. But he is not the one who is getting Mukti. <laughs> but he is not there. It is not there. It is just a program. Human is realizing he is being. <laughs> Human realizes that my essence is being. Actually, there is no experiencer also. Only CCTV camera. Experience is there no experiencer. Experience is there no experiencer. Though there is no person who is enlightened also. Get it? Some idea? Experience is there, right? Experience is there because instrument is there. Instrument is there. Experiencer is again created by the mind. <laughs> From the reflected. But how do you get it created like that? It's a like language, language. Language and uh, the image is told. Memory. No memory of yours is real. How? Who is asking the question how? Right? Okay. So, you did, did you eat breakfast? Tell me what breakfast did you take on 12th of uh, uh, June, 12th of May? Hmm? Did you take breakfast? We did not remember, no. So, what do you remember? What is remembrance? Something which is impacted, I think. Like you told the music concert See, that goes into memory. the memory. experience is fraction of the experience is photo is taken and recorded. Not completely. High definition you cannot record. Okay. Right? You cannot record the real movie. It will take too much of memory buffer full over <laughs> So you will take only fraction of that and record it. Okay. Is it reality? No. If it is fully recorded, I can say it is close to reality. It is not even fully recorded. A vaguely recorded, some part of that information is recorded. And one part of the information is me experiencing it is also recorded. That is also false. The experience itself is partially recorded. Okay, the experiencer is also falsely recorded. The record itself is temporary. <laughs> the record itself is temporary. Now, you will cry. You know, you, how, what was my life? How difficult was my life? Okay, I went to so much of trouble, so much of sorrow. What you are doing is that small recording which is there, you are taking it and adding picture now. You are recreating the picture. Recreating the storyline now and telling. 
Actually, the recording itself is not true. Like, if my parents record stories, uh. so that recording itself is true or not true? It's not true. Recording is a fraction of what is real now. What is experience now? Mm -hmm. Like they tell the we cycled for 10 kilometers, so for office or something. That is true or not? You, uh, now you tell me. So she is saying, the parents tell that I had to go through struggle in life. 10, say, 10 kilometers, you are now you are going in car. I had to cycle 10 kilometers in my cycle. Okay. So now is this story true or false? True. There is how, many people, no, no, how many people say that it's true? Can you please raise your hand? Okay. He says, uh, because son-in-law. <laughs> son-in-law cannot say question what father says. <laughs> so, why do you say it's true? When that happens, so that's the reason you What has happened? The father is going by second. Is the father a body? Is the father mind? Is the father intellect? Father be going going in cycle 10 years back, the same body mind intellect is there now also? No. So what is there now? Memory. Memory is there. That also is partial. Okay. Who is father really? The consciousness. So consciousness, did it, when, did, when did it start going in cycle actually? <laughs> that awareness of consciousness is not there. If it was there, I would have not even asked this question. So now I am saying, you are getting the awareness, then you have to understand what is real and false. Your father never went by cycle. <laughs> if you take him as consciousness. If you take him as consciousness. If you are not taking him as consciousness, he is not your father. <laughs> He never existed. All he never existed. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing exists in that way. <laughs> everything is consciousness. So everything in our life is a big story. Okay, then today, after like uh, 10 years, if I remember today, that means I am not sitting here only. You are never sitting here. <laughs> now only you are not sitting here. Never. <laughs> See, the consciousness as a consciousness never goes anywhere. It's always there, everywhere. Okay, body mind is moving, which is a robot it's getting experience. Now, body mind is not you. You are the one who is watching through the body mind. Now, that you cannot say yes, me. But I am experiencing it. Who is experiencing? That's all the whole point now. Experiencing is the society change. Knowing is the consciousness. Before the society child also consciousness was there, knowing child, knowing. After you die also the consciousness is there. Then who are you? See, that's not to confuse you, okay? This experiencing is required to make a living in the life, world. Okay? I'm not saying it's not required. But that's not you, that's all the whole point. That's your instrument of experiencing. Never confuse mobile with you. Mobile is an instrument. So I have, all that I am pointing out is the instrument. Right now you are confusing. Instrument is me. I am saying you are the one who is using the instrument. So did your father ride a cycle anytime? <laughs> okay. So since the cycle came, I'll make it, one, my, one of my students uh, made a song about uh, cycle. Mm -hmm. I'll say and you repeat it. Annana cycle Annana cycle Cycle ke belle illa Annana cycle Annana cycle Annana cycle Annana cycle illa Annana cycle 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 Ayayo Ayayo Annana illa This is called Maya <laughs> If you look every closely there is nothing is there <laughs> So the world is Maya. If you look closely, look. Uh, only you exist. That means you exist as long as the Maya exists. You say I exist. Okay. If otherwise, Maya, yeah. If otherwise, exists. Otherwise, there is 
Nothing. Nobody to say anything. Same. And Maya doesn't exist. We'll come to that. <laughs> okay, we'll break for coffee for 10 minutes. Then we'll continue. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So the confusion in life is happening. Vehicle is confused as me. Vehicle is not me. So in the process of vehicle is confused as me, you have given all the power of autonomy to you. Vehicle. Say that you do whatever you want. Understand? I am not the vehicle. Then you say what has to be done. Right now you have become the vehicle. Right? You have become like mobile phone addiction, vehicle addiction. Okay. I am driving the vehicle, that is also partially true, right? That's the best we can get. That's the best we can get. Let us have a cup of coffee. What do I understand?